What a piece of work is man. And what a piece of work has man made in the almighty cell phone. It seems like the majority of life is being lived on these devices. It's all too apparent that these and their content are precious to the vast majority of us. But how often do you back up your phone? And to where? Backing up data isn't a new concept. It is pretty fundamental in the computer science world. However, it seems that the practice has been left by the wayside in the emergence of cloud-based applications. Now, I'm all for offloading operational risk. In fact, that's exactly what we offer at our Compose. How does this relate to cell phones? Well, I'm willing to bet that you don't know what would happen to your contacts and photos right now if you dropped your phone in the toilet and all of its circuitry got fried. And if you do, then either you're locked into one of the big data surveillance companies, or you've got Nextcloud running. Since Nextcloud is one of the services we offer, I wanted to put together a crash course on how to do this with your phone. Your data belongs to you, and not only should you be able to keep it private, you should also be able to easily access it from everywhere. If you haven't backed up anything on your phone yet, here's a good place to start. After installing the Nextcloud application, we can go to its settings to quickly perform several different backups. The first we want to do is backup our contacts. We can choose to automatically backup our contacts after allowing Nextcloud to access them, which backs them up as a file on your Nextcloud instance. Next, we can upload any files from our phone into our Nextcloud instance using its built-in upload feature. We can select anything from our downloads folder or we can go to any of our other folders like music, movies, or pictures. I can now select one or more of the files that I want to upload and Nextcloud will upload it for me in the background. Pulling down the status bar will show you the upload progress. This way we can pick and choose the files we want to back up to our Nextcloud instance. Alternatively, we can go into our settings and select an auto upload of folders that we manage. In this case, to auto upload all the videos that I took with my phone, I would configure this folder to auto upload. I can configure the location on my device I would like it to upload to, as well as any other options. This way, I can ensure that any time I take a video, it will be automatically uploaded the next time I'm on Wi-Fi to my Nextcloud instance. Based on the time that I spend on it, some of Nextcloud's most valuable features to me are the ways it takes care of my cell phone without me having to think about it at all. If you found that Nextcloud has helped you manage your cell phone better, or if you have questions about it, visit us at rcompose.com. And if you're ready to get started with Nextcloud, you can also sign up for a free trial of your own R Compose instance today at rcompose.com.